Hey guys, it's Lego Jedi here. Um, this is my new first video. Just made this account, and today I made a mock. So before I explain Star Wars mock, because Lego Jedi, and um, before I explain anything, um, well, let's just say my first name is Owen, because you're gonna need this for this video. Um, but, yes, I am a dude, even though I have long hair. Um, so, this mock, uh, I made my own story to it, and it basically goes where, so, this is right after the upgrade from Phase 1 clones to Phase 2 clones. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's, so, the Phase 1 clones are the ones that look like this. And then when they upgraded to helmets like this. Let me just put that back. So, it's, so before the upgrade, there was a battle in the Outer Rim over Tatooine. And one of the Republic gunships, um, it had information on it, and it was gunned down and fell down to Tatooine. So, but the communications on the ship were disrupted, so the black box or if they even have one, I'll just say the black box, um, was, w wouldn't work, and they couldn't retrieve it. But, so after the upgrade to the Phase 2 clones, the black box, I guess, they think the error stopped, and it came back. So, when it came back, they sent a search crew to it, which was two Bark Troopers, which are a Phase 2 clone, and Jedi Master Owen, which is... A minifigure of me that I made as a Jedi. I mean, not, I guess it's kind of like me, I mean the hair. But, yeah, so, I added him into it. So they came down to search, and I'll show you the situation. So, this is, this is my first mock, so don't. If you don't like it, don't get all mad. So, they sent the... So, here is the Bark Troopers. Um, we got two of them. Here, sorry. I'm at a messed up angle. So, they can't, so, they dropped the gunship off. And they dropped them off with the speeder. And, so, here it is. It comes with... The set that comes with the Bark Trooper. And so they dropped off me, my guy, my guy. And they dropped off two Bark Troopers, which are these guys. And when they got there, they saw two clone heads, and they were Phase 1 clones, and they were lame. So, they were like, hmm, must have been a bad fight. And so, when they got near there, there was this thing, and he had already sensed it was a trap, and he warned the two clones. And this, it was, it was a lump of sand, but there was something shiny, and he thought it was a camera. So, he kind of did like a, a force jump, he cut it, and then he just landed there. And then this, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it came out and started attacking them. And then these droids all came up and they were all hidden. And so the fight began. So, so when he did the force jump over, he cut this so that the Separatists wouldn't get any more information. And then these two clones came into the fight. And there's... So into the detail, I used a lot of pieces from the set that came with the Bark Troopers. See, I don't have the name. Um, but, so right here, these are two things that I... So these, I stood up these pieces in between the studs so I could lay the droid's feet and so that they can like look like they're laying down. Like with their heads up. Here, this one. Let me put his head up. So it looks like they were kind of hidden. 
And these are supposedly like broken pieces from the ship. I'm going to say this is where the black box was. It's kind of like a box and maybe they were, they led them, these, this little squad here. So, because, and they found the black box, but there were all the droids and stuff. So, the speeder's here because they dropped off a speeder with them just in case things got up out of hand, which might be the case. But, um, there's little clumps of sand and little pieces. And I really like what I did right here with the Super Battle Droids because I stood up these things and I put some detail on the front. And then here, where this is, let's see, I put some plants. And then it's like a lump of sand and they set up walls and so they can shoot without getting harmed. And then this guy came out. And I put some clear pieces so it looked like he was floating. I mean, that's what came with the set. Um, most sets with these guys come with that. And so, that's basically what I did. And so I guess to the story, since this is a powerful Jedi, well, I mean, all Jedi are powerful, they probably beat the droids and collected the data and hopefully nothing was taken from the Separatists and there was only droids there who were setting up the trap. But you never know. It may just lead to another attack on a Separatist cruiser where the information might be. But you never know. And then the speeder's right here. Um, I just put it here and I put little clear pieces if you can see them. Because I thought, like, it might give a little bit of a float effect, but it's hard to see. So, so it was, they, like, dropped it down with them, and it floated. These guys came down. And then, if, like, they needed to, all of them would have to, like, jump on there. Um, if I had more of them, and more, like, room, I'd put three of them. Just so that all of them can go. But with what I had, I'm pretty proud of my first mock. Oh, I'm sorry if you hear my little brother in the background. He's going crazy. He's always crazy. But, um, so yeah. I I hope you enjoyed my video. And I'll probably do Leg Lego set reviews and, like, st fast motion builds. This is Lego Jedi signing out.